Okay, so welcome today. I'd like for us to discuss um, something very important. And, um, you know, this program has the component of success, career, leadership, the different areas that will make you become who God has called you to be. And um, I'm discussing with you this evening, very importantly, um, the topic on how to please your boss. How to please your boss. Now, this is a profound topic for every one of us, especially those on the path of career. You will notice that a lot of time uh, you have challenges with your boss, you have uh, issues. I think it's just because you've not truly studied uh, some few thoughts. You've not been able to take time to look at you know, that your boss carefully and then be able to determine how to please him. So uh, my pleasure today to talk to you on this topic how to please um, your boss. Okay, now understand that building a good relationship with your boss goes a long way uh, to determining your pay, your rise, your pay, everything about it. It's highly determined by that. The level of favor you get, and of course, in achieving your career goal. And that is very important for you to know. And that, if that is true, then you will need to properly look inwards to say, how must I then learn to please my boss. Now, so your perception about your boss is very important. If you have a wrong perception about your boss, it will be so difficult for you to truly please him. You know, so you need to, first of all, grow um, the right perception about your boss. What do you think about him? The way you see him, who exactly he is to you, all of that. It's important that you build the right um, reputation first in your mind and that will help you to be able to respect and then honor him. Then, of course, it will also determine your posting, your salary, your increase, your opportunities at the workplace. All of these things are determined by just one single truth. So um, I'd like to just give you a few points on how you should begin to please your boss. Number one point is that you need to do your job and do it very well. Okay? Um, every boss would like uh, for you to do your job very well um, most of us will want a perfect really near perfect job but the truth is you have to do it well whatever it is you are being paid for it's important that you bring out time to learn more about it to understudy that and of course build a capacity in that very area number two is that you need to do the right thing at the right time do not do the right thing at the wrong time you need to learn to do the right thing at the right time, especially when they, they give you targets, when they give you goals, they give you things you need to meet up to. You need to do the right thing at the right time. Of course, number three is that you need to speak well of him. Um, speak to him, especially um, when he's you know, a little bit not happy. You need to learn to come before him uh, in addressing some of the issues he has maybe he's battling with learn to speak well of him, speak to him first in a way that is pleasing, then of course be able to present your case if you have any case. So um, part of it is that you learn how to appease his heart, okay? Um, that doesn't make you a less, uh, uh, maybe your personality less in any way, uh, but there is always a good side of every man. So get that good side amplified before him and he will be pleased to hear you. Then another one, be willing to do more, to do the extra. Be willing to go beyond just what they've asked you to do, to being able to um, do the extra. The extra means being able to exceed your goal, exceed your target, and of course, uh, be able to do the right thing. Because sometimes you, you will want to just do exactly what you've been asked to do, but they expect more from you. So always think about what next, what must I do, what extra can I do? And of course, that will help you to build um, a good reputation for your boss. Another one says be obedient and loyal. You will notice that um, we have very few loyal people at a different workplace today. So you need to build loyalty. Become a, lo a loyal person. Become somebody that listens to instructions because uh, instructions are the capsules of greatness. And of course, you know that. Now, don't get involved in eye service. Do not get involved in eye service. Of course, at the workplace that you notice, a lot of people are doing very funny things just because they want a man to see them and, of course, to appreciate them or for some reason to praise them. 
So get to know that it's important you do just your job and let that job stand the test of time. Do what is right, do it exactly at the right time, and of course do your job. Stop looking for human praise. You know, it's part of it because when they know that you are a person that goes about doing your job, then uh, they will take you very serious. Then another one is get to know him well, get to know his vision, get to know his viewpoint, get to know how he thinks. So don't just want him to be like you or to conform to what you are thinking. You are expected to know him well, get to know where his life is going to, the way he wants things to be done. All of these things are important. So take your time to study him, take your time to ask questions, take your time to um, catch some things about him. And of course, that will help you know how you respond to him at all times. And of course, see the business you are into like your own. If it is his primary business, it's important because you are working for him. You also see from the same point of view at which is age. Of course, he wouldn't want to see waste. So you should not advance anything in the area of waste. So you do your best to make sure that the organization is going well. You, you ensure that he's pleased with your performance. He's pleased with you. Then, of course, I've said this before, but let me repeat it another way. Speak well of him, even when he's not there. Always talk good about your boss. Always discuss this. He's a good guy. He always has a good side. So uh, learn to present that good side and be able to silence the other side. Then, of course, pray for him. You know, very important. Pray for him that um, he will succeed, that the company will succeed, that the organization will succeed, that the workplace will be successful, you know, all of that. So learn to pray for him. Believe this will work. Say some good words to him sometimes that I believe over time this is going to work and all of that. And of course, congratulate him when there are mega successes and all of that. So make sure you also finally seek the growth of the organization and uh, of course, seek better opportunity for the business. Make sure you treat the customers well and make sure you manage them well. Make sure you manage uh, the different businesses that they own very well. Then of course, like I said before, always pray for him because when you pray for a person, you become closer to the person spiritually and of course physically. I trust that this um, clip uh, has been an, uh, you know, of advantage to you. So if that is, uh, you've learned anything from it, so I'd like you to quickly, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel and share the video. Let another person, you know, listen to it and let them benefit from just what you've gotten today. And I'll ask you to stay tuned and follow us in all our different channels and the things we do here. There's going to be much more of this coming to you on different platforms and in high dimensions. You're going to see plenty of um, empowerment topics that will help to empower you and grow your capacity. Thank you for listening today.